Hi guys, this is Tulin. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can find meaning, um, passion, or your purpose in life when you're when you're feeling lost. Um, you know, you might be in a job or a career that you might be good at. Uh, that's a sense of security and support for you that's comfortable you know it brings in x y and z but you know there's no meaning in it and it's sort of sabotaging you and it's suffocating your soul because you know deep down that it is not helping you i need to find another way so i'm going to bring some perspective and light into this now it gets to a point in our lives where you know we've we become fear, we, we become fear, um, we fear life to a point where we just abandon what we love doing. Uh, we either abandon it or we forget as we get older. And the truth is, is that when you're asking, you know, what is my purpose, what is my, my talent, what my skills, usually we think that it's always going to be outside of us and something or someone is going to tell us but really you know this is very cliche you've probably heard it loads before that the answers are always going to be within you but that is exactly that you are all the answer is always going to be within you and it always has been so it's just a matter of being um having open mind and being curious and your purpose will announce itself so for me for example you know, I asked all these questions for years and I did think that it was outside of me and that something or someone was just gonna tell me. Um, I thought by overthinking and thinking about it that it was just gonna miraculously come to me. But the best way to find what your purpose is is obviously looking within. Um, but the second thing is, is that what you're currently doing now will help you find your purpose so taking on opportunities taking action um you yourself will create your purpose um i hope that made i hope that makes sense so you are currently creating yourself every day that will lead you to that purpose so if you're thinking you know what am i good at what are my skills and what are my purpose you know i don't have a meaning Basically, you might be creating that right under your nose, and that was exactly what I was doing. So everything from my past uh, was creating my purpose, but just had to come, it was like a meeting point, and that was when I realized. And my purpose now is to speak the truth, to create my reality and be that example for other people by inspiring and influencing them, help them see a new perspective than they already have and bring light into into their lives so I'm gonna say a few things um, to help you change your perspective and say see it in a different light some tips so Jim Carrey he once said um, that I learned many great lessons from my father not the least of which is that you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. So you might, so you might as well just take a risk at something um, if you've already failed at doing something that you don't love. Another one is just taking that action that isn't aligned with your spirit by following your intuition, by listening to that voice, that inner voice that really does know and it's trying to lead you in that right direction but we usually dampen it um dampen it I don't know if that's a word um <laughs> we usually just you know we close it off and we don't listen to it but it's there for a reason it's trying to tell you something for a reason the another or well, another one is, is that always look for opportunities in life because the opportunity will help you find your purpose and that might be something you might find your purpose doing something that you're currently in um, you know one thing might lead to another and you, the opportunity might come up uh, from someone at work online 
if you focus on opportunities then an opportunity will come up for you so to scope this video all in one in a nutshell i'm going to help you just see it even more clearer and this is from abraham hikes and she said that we cannot live in a observational and reactionary state um, to the things that we don't want and that we don't have. Instead, we need to create them from within. So basically, you know, we, we, have, we all have desires, but as observational beings that we are, we realize well we become aware of the fact that we don't have these things so then we feel lack and that is what's tripping you up you know what you want that desire but you're we're becoming aware that we don't have these things so that is what we will match vibrationally and that is why it's so important to meditate to detach yourself from your over analytical mind, your overthinking mind, and become centered so you can receive your desire um, in a vibrational match to the desire that you want. So you become a vibrational match to that desire that you do want. Um, because as Rumi said, what you want also wants you and it wants to flow to you. And you know, I've said in my other videos that life is not out to get you. It always wants to help you create what you truly want and to become your best version. So I hope this video has helped you see things in a different perspective. And if you have any questions, comment down below or message me personally on my social media. Thank you very much and I will see you in my next video. Inwards and outwards. Thank you.